My name is Ork, welcome to the new video. Today we are going to talk about how you can get yourself a easy nuclear in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 multiplayer. In the breakout you will be watching the nuclear I got uh, yesterday uh, while I was just chilling in the multiplayer itself. Uh, it's a really nice gameplay and uh, we got a couple of really nice turn on in there as well. Before we start, uh, thank you for clicking on this video. If you like this, make sure to leave a like, share and you have any more question, be free to ask in the comment section below and maybe if you like this you can subscribe as well uh now let's go straight to the tips itself okay for the first thing and i think this is probably one of the most important ones and this is playstyles and uh playstyle in this call of duty is actually really similar to uh black ops 2 style, black ops 2 style of the uh, gameplay itself you don't push uh to mid maps uh, you play a lot of angles uh you don't over push spawn just because that 150 health so that may kind of, kind of difficult to get like double and triple kills especially so that makes it really hard so you don't want to over push spawns and uh, the last thing which is at least like 100 percent the most important one at least in my opinion what i saw from the gameplays and what i saw usually in the uh, game itself especially blackout and uh, let enemy run to you so you don't challenge them you let them challenge you so basically what i want to say don't start shooting enemies as as soon as you uh, see them especially if they didn't see you uh, put yourself in good position put yourself in head leech or some real nasty angle uh, something like that and then wait a little bit for enemy to come to you challenge you because a lot of people will, uh, will have really really stupid challenges they will challenge literally anything so you will have a free kills every single time they do that and uh, also I want to mention one more thing uh, I said don't push through the mid maps uh, the reason why is there is in mid maps usually there is quite a lot of people usually on head, gl head glitches or nasty angles or something so you want to push left or right side you, you choose depends on the map of course and everything just want to mention that as well now the second thing you want to have is your special so from all the specialists uh, that we can choose from I personally prefer crash as the best one for or, uh, going on some really high streaks especially streaks with, like this one you need gun kills not score streaks any kill with your score streaks it will not be countered towards uh, nuclear itself so that's why i feel the crash is the best one you can easily have 200 health for yourself i think i did a nasty play like on 28 kills i think i had or 27 i did a really nasty play uh i will i probably show you that on the beginning of this uh gameplay itself and uh, just because crash and that 200 health i could easily do that also with the crash bonus you will get yourself a lot of ammo and uh, because of your ammo box uh, you will get extra 25 uh, points for every kill you got so that will make uh, your next thing we are going to talk about easier to get and that next next thing is of course streaks and uh, for the streaks i will highly uh, suggest you to use uav and counter uav and that's two only uh, reason why is that uav and counter uav you uh, with uav you know enemy position most of the time especially the ghost works like uh, basically shit in this game and country UV because i do not use suppressor in my class uh, i'll talk about the guns a little bit later uh that's why country UV is really good so your enemy players cannot see you on the mini map itself uh, i feel like this too is the best reason why also is that uh, basically if you get like uh, strike team or helicopter any kind of them uh, doesn't work for you that's a lot of points you need to get in more life to get them and uh, basically you will call them uh, there's two things will happen first thing the kills you will get will not count to your nuclear itself and the second thing that is problem as well uh, quite a lot of people usually leave after you uh, call out strike teams and uh, helicopters so these two you need to have in mind with streaks as well that's why UAV and country UAV I think is the best as possible next thing I want to talk is the uh, let's uh, let's perk let's go with perks first for perks I highly suggest you a scavenger I know the crash has a lot of ammo but i don't know why i use scavenger as well because i feel like i run uh i usually pre-fire a lot so i don't know uh with scavenger i could pre easily pre-fire everything that i really want uh the next perk is uh gun hole i use uh personally i think it's a little bit better than dexterity especially dexterity doesn't work uh pro player use dexterity the reason why is gun hole is banned in competitive uh competitive settings so i feel like dexterity is there really good uh the last perk i use is 
dead silence. Uh, reason why is a lot of people use acoustic sensor and um, dead silence basically counter that. Uh, and you basically enemy team whoever has the headset will cannot be uh, able to hear you while you're sneaking behind them. Next thing is the weapon choice itself. I highly suggest you use Maddox ICR. Uh, Vapor is kind of good as well, but like Vap ICR for longer range maps uh, and Maddox for closer range, like mid to close range gunfight. I feel like these two is the best at the moment guns. Also, the SOG is really good, but uh, but it's SMD is a bit uh, underused, underpowered as well. But uh, I think these two, like these three guns, is really the best one to use for uh, going for that high, really high streak. Even though you you should know how to play really good and you have good play styles and you have everything in mind and you have a good shot as well that's kind of important you need to be able to hit uh, like 99% of your shots that's actually really important as well uh, for that I made a video and how to uh, get yourself a better shot I think I made a series of key video for that as well so go check that out uh, somewhere in my channel there will be I think I will put them in the description below as well uh, what I want to say is if you have a really good shot and you know how to play you can easily use any gun in the game literally and you'll be able to do, do really good with them as well um, so there is a big question about do sh should I use team shot or should I use acoustic sensor uh, I have been testing for a couple of weeks now uh, with the acoustic sensor and I don't like it to be honest too much uh, I prefer steam shot and in this gameplay I think I use team shot as well uh, I feel like that's really good with uh, how quickly you can actually uh, kill yourself uh, and and uh, that makes you a little bit better against multiple enemies if you're pushing for spawns and you make a couple of mistakes with that. And the last thing I want to mention is uh, also you can use acoustic sensor easily. Uh, it's up to you basically both of those are really good uh, thing to have on your class. So uh, choose whatever, choose what you think it will be better. I prefer steam shot and uh, if you like acoustic sensor more go for it. Uh, and the last thing before we go for uh, what to play what most to play I want to mention uh, knowing spawns and where the enemy will be spawning, where enemy could be, the most popular head glitch is one of the most uh, hard things to learn base I think and uh, one of the most important things. This will get you just with experience in the game itself. Uh, I learn every single spawn basically where enemy could be, everything, I know everything now at the moment just because I'm playing uh, quite a lot especially in competitive setting that is one of the most important things for hardpoint like say, let's say and control itself. So uh, I feel like that's really important before I start to play what to play and uh, what mode you go for so what mode you go for i would highly suggest you go for three of those domination hardpoint or control why this uh why the three of those uh reason why is expensive domination is uh how long the gameplay itself it is so you have quite a lot of time to get yourself for that 30 gun streak you don't need to rush anything like in team deathmatch you would need to to get yourself uh, fucking nuclear but in this game mode you have easily have a lot of time to go for a uh, lot of kills you know basically the spawns uh, I especially prefer domination to be, to be honest for those these high streaks gameplays because uh, you literally know I know where the enemy uh, spawns will be especially if you have like B and A flag and you know there will be somewhere on C. Uh, that's why I prefer domination the most of all those out of these uh, three but all three of those will work really good you can easily go for kill confirm as well if you feel like but i don't like that for going that for going on uh, nuclear i feel like that's a little bit of spawns uh, easily can be switched and that could be a problem if somebody pushes it from behind anyway this is the end of today's video go please make sure to leave a like share subscribe if you do uh, i highly appreciate every single one of you guys thank you for watching this video uh, and uh, i'll see you guys some other day with you call of duty leader bye